Hello traders, uh, welcome back to another video here on the Learn to Trade channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the pound, right? The reason we want to, I want to talk about the pound is because the pound has been on a tear. If you look at the euro versus the GDP, GBP, huh, um, and the, if we take the, uh, let's call it the December 10 highs, uh, the pound has moved 6.5% 6 uh, positive against the euro right uh if we take the pound versus the yen uh and we go to the december uh december 10 lows it has moved 8.36 percent uh positive against the against uh, the yen and if we take the pound against the us dollar on the same uh let's call it december 10th uh lows uh this pair or or this pair on this pair the uh pound has moved 7% positive against the US dollar. Now, the reason that I want to talk about the pound is because it, uh, on the pound versus the US dollar, on the pound versus the yen, and on the Euro GBP, uh, we are hitting some massive, massive levels. Right, uh, let's go to the two day chart, and we're going to do this very quickly. Uh, if we go to a two day chart, on, uh, let's go to a three day chart so we can have. Um, all the levels on the same chart without having to uh without having to zoom in and out of the chart right so uh the levels that i'm looking at on the pound versus the gbp uh, i'm sorry the pound versus the us dollar is the 140. the 140 level is a very psychological round number right important psychological round number uh, and not only that but if you look closely on the three-day chart you can see that this is a level that was uh, held as resistance before it was held as support. And if we move even further on, on historic price action, uh, you can see that the pound did uh, uh, found support on the 140 before it broke down um, to test the 112, right? This has to be during the, um, uh, this was, I'm sorry, during the, uh, the Brexit announcement, etc., back in 2016, right? We have been in this game for a long time. So uh, we are testing the 140 on the pound versus the US dollar. This by no means is a um, uh, a signal to go short, by no means. But uh, it looks like it is going to be holding. Now, the pound versus the yen... I deleted all of my levels here, be, be here because I did have a lot of them. Uh, and the pound versus the yen is testing, actually, uh, retesting these highs. Um, the previous highs right here. And this is a very interesting level too. Why? Because this is a level that completely annihilated uh, buyers in this market. Buyers were in control from the lows uh, on December 27, 2018 to the highs on um, March 08 in 2019 uh, and that was a very strong 13.78% move and right here is where uh, sellers were found and we took uh, sellers took that move um, took that price 15% down and then again right here again so very strong level this is the one uh, 148.15 level in the pound versus the yen uh, and if we go to the one hour, two hour chart, uh, you can see that we are actually retesting it perfectly right now. Again, this is a very strong bullish market. So this is no, this is not a uh, signal to go short, uh, but do your own analysis. I'm just, I'm just showing you what I'm looking at on these three pairs. And to finish up this, uh, this, um, uh, this video, I wanted to show you this. Oh boy, this is the weekly. Let's go to the three-day chart again. Well, we can go to the two-day chart actually on the pound. On the euro versus the pound. This is the, the least clear uh, setup uh, that I have found. The main reason is because we, we are trading below these lows, right? This was, in my opinion, the big, the big, uh, the big level that buyers were going to be jumping in. But as you can see, there was no buying pressure in the euro versus the pound. And right now we are retesting these highs, which are 
uh, uh, as I told you before, this is not a great, great, great uh, level in my opinion. The big level in my opinion is this one right here, all the way down to the 8550. Uh, uh, and uh, the reason is because this level is where uh, buyers jumped in in the past and pushed price uh, almost 10%, right? Uh, and again, when price broke to the downside here, this is where sellers uh, or this is the level that sellers were protecting. So uh, on the euro versus the pound, um, um, I don't I mean, I could see somewhat a level of uh, uh, if we go to the daily, you might we might be able to see uh, somewhat of a level here. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, well, this is actually a level, uh, but, uh, be, well, let me show you. This is, um, a very, or this was a very strong, uh, bearish market, right? And as you can see, this is the level that, or the battlefield where, where buyers were trying to push price, push price back up. But here's where sellers were keeping this market bearish and were kept in control of this market. Now, when buyers jumped in here, this is where they refilled or refueled the jet and then moved price all the way up here for an entire, uh, let's see it, hold on, let me grab that too, for a nice 14.8% uh, uh, move. And this is where we are right now. Okay, and this is the least, my least favorite. Uh, and the GPP, GPP CAD, I mean, I was looking to short this GPP CAD. Uh, um, this was um, just watch first possible short from key level, but they didn't pan out. In any case, uh, these are the pound uh, or these are my levels on the pound pairs. And as you can see, uh, if we go back again uh, to the hourly chart, I mean, this looks super strong still. Uh, we are in a very, very strong bull market. But uh, on the pound versus the yen, uh, we are um, at the at the end of a five wave triangle. And if you want to get that signal, I'm going to give you a link below where you can join the VIP team. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.